The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that He entered His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in His footsteps, so that being made by His grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in His resurrection and in His life. May I ask you to raise your palms as I offer the prayer of blessing. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, sanctify these branches, these palms, with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through Him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and his disciples drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately on entering it, you will find a cold tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone should say to you, why are you doing this? Reply, the master has need of it and will send it back here at once. So they went off and found a cold tethered at a gate outside on the street and they untied it. Some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? They answered them, Just as Jesus had told them to, and they permitted them to do it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and put their clothes over it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceding him as well, as those following, kept crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hosanna in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, good afternoon. Today is the Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion. As you have heard during the introduction, it is the first day, the opening day of Holy Week. When we say Holy Week, it is the only week throughout the whole year that took the description Holy because all the days were holy. Holy Monday, Holy Tuesday, Holy Wednesday, Monday Thursday, or Holy Thursday, then Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and it's Easter Sunday and the following day. But more than anything else, it is called holy for two things. Number one, Holy Week is holy because it is a gift. Why? Because during this week, we begin and intensely meditate on the passion, death, 
and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, which the Catholic faith collectively calls the Paschal Mystery. We are made holy, we are saved, we are made good because of the saving passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. That is why for us Catholics, Holy Week is a gift because it makes us holy. Number two, Holy Week is holy because aside from that, it is a gift, it is a task. It is also our response to the saving passion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our response is our efforts to become holy. That is why now is not the time to go to beaches, to have your own vacations free, but now is the time to pray intensely. Again, to meditate on the salvation which we have received through the saving acts of our Lord Jesus Christ. To be holy is our response to His love shown for us immensely and descriptively and concretely on that cross. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, Amen. Let this holy water call to mind into our baptism and to Christ, who based death and resurrection has revealed us. So, natay procession. So, kining mga naon na din hi, we exit mo dili sa open, tapos kusulod na mo sa simpa. Okay?